Alright, now example 6. Alright, now we're going to deal with uh, problem sum. Okay, another application of your matrices. Alright, let's take a look. This is a rather lengthy question that almost take up the whole screen. Okay, now a supplier supplies coffee beans to shop A, B, and C in bags of 5 kg, 10 kg, and 15 kg as shown in the table. Okay, so this table tells us that, well, shop A gets 50 bags of 5 kg, shop B um, gets, you know, 100 bags of 10 kg, and so on and so forth, right? Okay, good. So the cost price of 5 kg, 10 kg, and 15 kg are 10, 60, 17, 20, okay, and 22 dollars and 50 cents, respectively. Okay, so write down two matrices P and Q, such that the elements of the matrix product PQ give the total cost price of the beans delivered to each shop. Okay, then find the product of PQ. Okay, let's take a look at part A first, all right, before we jump into uh, part B. It looks a little bit intimidating, isn't it? And in fact, a lot of people find this um, rather scary. Okay, now, uh, there are a few tricks to learn, okay, to do this kind of question, which uh, totally uh, make it a lot, a lot easier. First thing first, all right, always bear in mind to figure out what is the end result that you want. Okay, now what is the end result? What do you want? You want to that the product to give you a total cost price of beans. Okay, so you're interested in the price, okay, total cost, total price for the beans that is delivered to each shop. Okay, so now we have three shops, which means that our final answer will be a three uh, numbers, right? So we end up with uh, either, you know, uh, A, B, C, Okay, which is a 1 by 3 matrix, or we may end up with an A, B, C, something like this, isn't it? And, and well, A obviously will give us the total the price for the beans that is del delivered to shop A. Okay, and of course B will give us the total price of the beans that is delivered to shop B, and so on and so forth, right? So we know that we are expecting this answer, okay, of three different numbers. Okay, the next thing that we figure out is, alright, now, how am I going to get that? Okay, now this is where the trick comes in. Now, this question, if not framed into a matrix question, it's very easy, isn't it? I mean, come on, even a, a, a five-year-old kid, I think, can do this. No problem. Well, because, you see, you're only interested in each shop getting how much, okay, worth of uh, beans, right? So you know that shop A gets 50 bags of 5 kg, and 5 kg costs 10, 60 each bag, right? So for shop A, Okay, for shop A, well, you know that the price that shop A will have to will have to pay will be of course fifty multiplied by ten sixty, isn't it? Okay. Now, not only that, we know that well, shop A gets one hundred bags of ten kg. So of course, that we have to add on to our one hundred bag of ten kg, which costs seventeen dollars and twenty cent per bag. Okay. All right. Lastly, we also know that shop A gets 30 bags of 15 kg. So therefore, we will have to add in the 30. All right, the 30 bags. Okay, of 15 kg, which costs all right 22 dollars and 50 cents. Okay. So this is what the total cost for shop A is, isn't it? Of course, you can add, multiply up, and add up. You get the answer. Okay, but you will not get any marks because what they want is they want you to do it in the form of a matrix. Okay, so you can't do this. What I'm trying to say is that, well, we try to deconstruct the question. Okay, go and see what the question is really talking about internally. Okay, so this is what is going on internally. Well, this is the number that we're interested in as one of the answer later on. Okay, so let's investigate further. Okay, let's take a look at shop B. Uh, and see if uh, how can we formulate these these three numbers for shop A B C into a matrix multiplication. Okay, so shop B it receives um, what sixty bags of five kg. So it will be sixty multiplied by ten dollars and sixty cents. Okay, now of course shop shop B receives one hundred and fifty bags of the 10 kg, so 150 multiplied by 17.25, uh, sorry, 17.2, okay, and of course, lastly, uh, shop B gets 40 bags of the 15 kg, 40, 15 kg bags, so that will give us $22.50, alright, let's take a look at shop C, 
Now I'm sure some of you who are sharp enough already identify a certain pattern here. Okay, that you know that hey, you can convert it into a matrix multiplication already. Okay, but nevertheless, let me just uh, write down everything so we can see the everything in the uh, grand manner. Okay, so we have all the information in. Okay, and we know that well, if we want to find if we, we you know we were in in primary school for example okay we want to find the total price that shop A has to pay shop B has to pay this is it this is the working we just multiply and we just add up all the answers we get the answer but we have to do it in the matrix so let's take a look at what we have got here all right now you notice that hey yes 50 uh, 50 multiplied by 10.6 this 10.6 17.2 Okay, and 22.5 keeps coming up, isn't it? Okay. Alright. And when you compare it with the table that's given to us, okay, you may see that, um, you know, to get this matrix, to, to change this into a matrix multiplication, isn't that difficult after all? Alright, you know that, well, 50, and there's 100, okay, and of course, there's a 30, and of course, there must be a 60, 150, and a 40 here, alright, and 80 here, 200 here, and of course, a 70 here as well, right? So now you know that these numbers will form a matrix and you will multiply it by 10.6, 17.2, and of course, 22.5, okay? So this is the matrix multiplication of this whole thing, isn't it? As you can see, well, row multiplied by column, so we have 50 multiplied by 10.6, here we go, okay, plus 100 multiplied by 17.2, here we go, okay, and of course, uh, 30 multiplied by 22.5, and here we go. Okay, so we go on to the next row, we'll, we'll do the same, you see, so this multiplied by this and so on and so forth, but basically you have now changed it to a matrix form. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so this is our P and this is our Q. Okay, of course uh, we have to label our answer properly. Okay, so this is P and then this is Q. Alright, now what we have to do is to work it out. Okay, so the working out of this shouldn't be too problematic. Okay, uh, of course you can use calculator for that. All right, uh, it's okay. It's not that bad to get it. Okay, so um, this is a three by three matrix. This is a three by one. So our answer will be a three by one. Okay, that means we get three rows, one column. Okay, the answer will be two nine two five. Okay, you can counter check. Okay, um, four one one six, and of course five eight six three. Okay, so you have no problem getting these numbers at all. In fact, you can even check it from here. Okay, so this is our first part of the question. Okay, of course you must then know what does these numbers here mean. What does, what does all these numbers here mean? Okay, so this means that, well, shop A received uh, an amount of um, $2,925 worth of uh, beans. Okay, alright, let's go on to part B. In June, shop A, B, and C received 15, 10, and 5 such deliveries respectively. By using a matrix multiplication, find the total number of 5 kg, 10 kg, and 15 kg bags delivered in June. Hence, find the total number of bags uh, delivered in June by further matrix multiplication. Okay, now. So we know that, okay, this is what is being delivered to the shops, okay, in a month. And, uh, well, in a particular month, okay, um, no, in one delivery. So in a particular month, okay, the shops receive 15 such deliveries. Okay, so now, now we're, we're interested in, we're interested in the total number of 5 kg, 10 kg, and 15 kg bags. Okay, so let's take a look at how we solve this. Okay, so the part B. Alright, now, since we know that shop A gets 50 bags of um, 5 kg, and since shop A received 15 such delivery, okay, again, use our primary school method, isn't it? Okay, so we'll think about it this way. Okay, for the 5 kg bags, okay, now we're interested in 5 kg bags, right? So, Alright, shop A 
receive 50 bags for 15 times okay so we know that well we have to have 15 times 50 okay but this is only for shop A isn't it so let's go on to shop B okay we know that well shop B receive 60 bags for 10 times okay so let us okay so we have 60 bags 10 times okay now of course lastly shop C okay receive 80 bags of 5 kg for 5 times so 80 times 5 okay so plus 80 times 5 okay now for the 10 kg bag okay we do the same all right and then we see that well shop A has got 100 bags for 15 times so 100 bags times 15 okay of course shop B we have 150 bags times 10 times 150 times 10 okay lastly shop C we have 200 bags for 5 times okay so we have 200 bags of 5 times okay so we can go on to do for our um, 15 kg okay and uh, this is what you will get finally okay now we know that this is the answer that we're after isn't it but now the only trouble is we have to um, give it in terms of a matrix multiplication just like what we did for part A okay so we start to analyze these numbers here and we see that hey you know certain things are rather obvious here just like what we previously seen you see 15 15 15 15 okay and we have 10 10 and 10 all right so we have 5 5 and 5 okay so obviously we know that we can convert this into a matrix multiplication so after thinking for a while okay you have to realize that well you will look a little like this 15 10 and 5 okay multiply by 50 60 80 all right 100 here 150 here and of course this will be 200 okay then that's for this this will give us a 30 and of course a 40 and 70 now make it a habit every time you write out your matrix multiplication you check to see if first thing first the multiplication can work okay now this is a 1 by 3 matrix okay and of course this is a 3 by 3 matrix so yes it is multipliable and the answer is also useful because our answer will be a 1 by 3 answer okay the next thing is of course you check whether the matrix multiplication will give us exactly these figures okay so we we'll use the row multiply by column so we have 15 multiplied by 50 okay check plus 10 multiplied by 60 so 10 multiplied by 60 check okay plus 5 multiplied by 80 check so this multiplied by this the first element will give us the 5 kg okay so it gives us a 5 kg's um, answer so therefore our answer will be a 1 by 3 so it will be a 1 row 3 column so we have a, an answer something like this okay which uh, if you work it out you get 1 7 5 0 okay 4 thousand now of course lastly 1,200 okay so now this will be of course the total number of bags for 5 kg 10 kg and of course 15 kg all right so this is it okay so this is how we uh, work things out so please try to practice a bit more on this it's not that difficult okay the trick is just something a little like this all right now let's take a look at the next part okay we still have a hands part to go all right so find the total number okay we found now hands find the total number of bags delivered in june by further matrix multiplication so now we do, oh, okay this is interesting all right now what have we got now what we got here is the number of bags number of 5 kg bags number of 10 kg bags and number of 15 kg bags alright so in order to find the total number of bags all we have to do is just add them all up isn't it okay so we know that well you have to add them all up to get the total number of bags that's delivered in that month problem comes in well it's not that easy they want it in 
matrix form. Okay, so, so how are you going to use matrix multiplication and don't change this number anymore? Okay, so you got to think and think and think. You know, this is a 1 by 3 matrix. Now bear in mind, the final answer that we want now is a 1 answer. Okay, only 1 number. Right, we want a final number that will, that will give us the total number of backs. So of course, if this is a 1 by 3 matrix, of course we need to multiply it by a 3 by 1 matrix in order to give us a 1 number answer, isn't it? So what would this matrix be then? Okay, so let's take a look. So 1750, 4000, okay, 1200. Okay, bear in mind, we can easily get the answer if we just were to add up all these numbers, isn't it? Okay, but the trouble is, we can't just add it. So, we know that, hey, we have to multiply by a matrix that is 3 by 1, right? So what is the trick here? It will be 1, 1, 1. Okay? When so you multiply by a matrix 1, 1, 1, you realize that, okay, when you work it out, it will be this 1,750 multiplied by 1, plus 4,000 multiplied by 1, plus 1,200 multiplied by 1. So it will be simply be, okay, the answer is a 1 by 1 answer, but the answer will be simply be the sum. Okay, of what we are interested in at the first place. Okay, so it will be simply this number, which will give us the total right, number of backs. Okay, but I don't think that the question asks us to solve for it. So, okay, we just have to find the total number of backs by further. Oh, okay, yes. So we have to find it. Okay, so from the calculator, this is just simply calculator work. All right, we'll get 6,950. Okay, total number of bags delivered in that month.